Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that is dated for the 5th of February, it doesn't necessarily mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in the moment. However, if you are a regular morning coffee viewer, um, there is a possibility or a chance that this might not resonate with you right now. If at any moment you feel guided to return to this or any other reading in the future, follow your intuition because that's probably when the message is going to resonate with you. Also, if you are going back in the morning coffee archives, of which there is a morning coffee playlist. So if you guys want to like check out previous morning coffees just to see if maybe anything resonates with you, I highly recommend that you do so. But in doing that, I recommend that you pay attention to the title of the reading and not the date because the title is really going what's going to give you that inclin or indication that this is a, this could be a message for me or this this is going to resonate with me somehow. Okay. Um, also, it is Wednesday, so we do have happy hour tonight. If you're new, happy hour is a moment where I go live here on YouTube and we hang out and um, we I do single question personal readings for a discounted price. So normally a single question reading would be thirty dollars, but during happy hour, it's $5 off, so you can get a live single question reading with me here on YouTube for $25. Um, and if you would like to get in on that, first of all, I will put the post the link to the PayPal page where you can send your payment to in the description box, but you would need to send $25 to paypal.me slash divine conversations. Um, and make sure, please make sure to put your question in the notes section of your payment. Yes. And you cannot use just my handle of divine conversations. Like you can't go to paypal.com slash divine conversations. That's not going to work. You have to use the full link paypal.me slash divine conversations, and you'll be able to send it then. Okay. Um, and also again, please make sure to put your notes in the comments section of the payment. Um, that, that can be easy to miss sometimes, uh, but so just, just try and, you know, pay close attention to that. And then we will be going live here on YouTube at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are following me on Instagram, make sure to check in around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'm going to be doing a happy hour pre-game show, which is where I'm going to be pulling some collective energies for the, mainly for the Insta fam that's there watching live, but then also I am going to take that reading and upload it to YouTube. Most likely that'll be done by tomorrow because there's quite a bit of, there's quite a process between transferring it from my phone to my, to my computer and then I have to edit it. So it probably, it's not going to be up until tomorrow. However, if you are following me on Instagram, you'll be able to see that live session and, and um, collective reading for 24 hours. And then once that 24 hours expires, if you still want to watch it again, it'll be up on YouTube. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'm going live on Instagram around 5 p.m.-ish for the pregame show. Happy hour starts at 6 p.m. here on YouTube. Yeah, excellent. So let's get into today's energies. And it's so crazy because yesterday... I pulled out the Crystal Visions Tarot deck because it just, it spoke to me. It felt like it was the right thing to do. And yesterday's message was mainly geared towards the feminine, the divine feminine, a feminine counterpart, or just the feminine energy within yourself. Today, I brought out the, where's the box? I guess I put it back in the closet. Um, but today I brought out the Epic Tarot for clarification and it, and I usually use the Epic Tarot for like more masculine things. And it seems we may be talking to the masculine today. What we have here is the Page of Pentacles again. The Page of Pentacles came out yesterday and we have it with the Four of Cups and the Four of Cups is in reverse. I really like this. Now, overall energy is the Five of Cups with the four of swords on the other side of the deck. And 
Okay, so this is a similar message to yesterday in terms of, um, you know, the Page of Pentacles has come out. The th to be quite honest, what made me think or made me feel like this was the masculine energy that we're talking to, either we're talking to a, a, a masculine counterpart, a divine masculine, or we're just speaking to the masculine energy within yourself. But what what made me think of this being the masculine's energy was the Five of Cups, to be quite honest. Um, and it's mainly because the, f the masculine energies or the masculine collective has kind of been in this energy of the Five of Cups for quite some time. Um, feeling really regretful, remorseful, maybe even shamed um, by some things that may have happened in the past or whatever, whatever, whatever your current situation is and however this resonates with you, it feels like this Five of Cups energy has been on, on repeat lately. Um, and this again is for mainly the masculine collective again now this even if you're not part of like the twin flame journey or you don't you're not really looking for love or anything this keep in mind that this could be speaking to like your own inner sense of masculinity here now the thing about it with the five of cups that makes it a good thing is the fact that we're seeing the other side of the card where we have this rose that's growing okay from behind this individual which to me symbolizes a rebirth and then we see these two cups that are still standing so all is not lost okay and especially with the four of cups in reverse i feel i definitely feel like there is an energy here in which come on you focus hey 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 i'm gonna need you i'm gonna need you to do the things thank you um <laughs> with this four of cups in reverse here this feels like someone is giving up their fight or their apathy their fight against going with the flow or doing something taking some sort of action maybe accepting this new reality this new this level up that you may have experienced because i do kind of see the page of pentacles as a level up and at times now with the four of swords here there's still a little bit of energy of contemplation However, I feel like this is also kind of a past energy as well. I feel like someone here has really, you, I guess, we'll, I'll speak to this as if it's you that is resonating with this. But you here seem to have taken some time to rest and to meditate. Um, and, and it's this meditation, this going to your, the, you know, going to your corner or going to your room and whatnot, whatever, and just thinking about it and, and mulling over it and processing it. Okay. Construction is hard at work. You guys, you know, I was fine with the construction in the beginning, but now that the building is like really going up, and they start at like seven in the morning. This construction is becoming a little less cute by the day. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, I got off on a tangent and I, I don't even remember what I was gonna say now. Um, but it just feels like there, there is a lot of rest. Oh, by you going and going to your room or going to your corner and thinking about things and mulling over it, that's allowed you to really come out on the other side, maybe to see the value in what may have happened, to learn the lesson from it. And thus you have this energy with the four of cups in reverse of someone no longer, or you, I guess, no longer being in an energy where, in an, an apathetic energy, in a where in an energy where it's like, well, yeah, I know that I have that opportunity um, in front of me, but you know what? I'm not so sure I'm gonna take it. Like, uh, I'm bored. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Uh, I don't know if this. Is, and it doesn't have to be that nonchalant. It could be way more emotional. It's like, oh my god, I don't. I, this opportunity is right in front of me, and I don't. I don't. I don't. I can't do this. I'm. I'm not worthy of this. I'm not good enough for this. Like, who do I think I am? Like, why would you even present this to me, universe? Like, what the hell is wrong with you? I. I can't. I can't do that. Like, okay. I mean, it, it could. It could fall on anywhere on the spectrum, but I'm just getting an energy of someone. What I heard, what I just heard is taking the lead and it, and it leading by example. Okay. Um, but it's like, you're taking the lead in your own life. You're, you're, you're taking on this new reality, this new level up. This, I just heard this stark new beginning. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, that's good. So let's, um, I'm going to 
get into the rest of this here. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Spirit's saying five shuffles, so here we go. One. For Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Two. For the collective, this is three. Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. This is four. And the five skis. Yas, yas. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, you guys. I'm just the crazy one over here. Okay, here we go. Um, so for Wednesday, February fifth, twenty twenty. What do you, what's going on with the collective? What do you want to discuss with the collective today, Spirit? Wednesday, February fifth, twenty twenty. Day, February 5th, 2020. That's enough. Okay. Well, it looks like we sure are speaking to the masculine here because we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords, and we've got the King of Wands. Well, so this is either a divine masculine counterpart. It damn well could be a twin flame because it is the king of wands. Um, now, if you're new to that or if you're new to that concept or you're new to how I read for the twin flame collective, um, I see the divine masculine and the divine feminine as the king and the queen of wands as like their 3D versions of themselves. Whereas in their 5D versions, I see them as the emperor and the empress. You could even go so far as to see them as the high, the, the, the um, hierophant and the high priestess. Now, I, the king and queen of wands would be a representation of the divine feminine and the divine masculine because wands suit is that of spirit, of magic, of passion, of fire. Yes, and so thus you have twin flames, wands, fire, get it? Okay, great. Anyway, um, this doesn't have to be talking about twin flames, all right? This doesn't even have to be talking about romance. What I'm getting here is from a masculine point of view, there is an energy of someone gaining their power back, someone standing strong, standing, standing true to who they are, standing true to their convictions. Um, with this page of swords here, I feel like this is kind of an energy. I kind of want to say this is an energy of you learning to um, what I want to say is compete in this new level or compete in this new environment that you there is a little bit of an, a, a kind of a hostile or even aggressive energy that I'm getting from this night. Uh, I'm sorry, this page of swords. And it's coming from the competitive nature of the masculine or the competitive nature of this King of Wands energy. Um, with the card that's fallen out here, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of family, longevity, um, legacy, career, finance, being in something for the long haul, um, a long-term commitment. But in my opinion, as a reader, this is also an indication of a life lesson completed. Um, and being ready and able to move on to the next phase in your existence, I want to say. 
um, and that's indicative of, or, or, or the, pa the page of pentacles that came out in the pre-shuffle is indicative of that. Like the page of pentacles, in my opinion, is a, rep is a representation of someone stepping into that new level and leveling up, showing up in this new way, whatnot, whatever. And also, you know, in kind of being a newbie as well, which is kind of where I'm getting some of this aggressive energy, especially from this page of swords. But again, it's more coming from it's being expressed by the page of swords but it's really coming from um the deep sense of competition that the king of wands can represent because the king of wands is very passionate very fiery he can be very loving but he's also very competitive or at least he can be very competitive of all the kings in the deck the wands suit would be the most competitive whereas the sword suit would be the most combative get it um, so, okay, so what we have here is someone stepping into this new level, having learned a lesson. There might be, a, you, you might be feeling a little bit aggressive. Again, it's mainly what I'm feeling is com competitive reasons. There's a fairly strong um, defensive energy coming through with this Page of Swords here. But also the Page of Swords is an energy of seeking, understanding, learning. A gathering wisdom, gathering intel, gathering information, and so, so there is a there is even more of an aggressive edge here for someone, because they're really learning how to. I mean, you're really trying. What I'm feeling here is you're really trying to learn how to master this new level, this a new environment, this new belief system, this new mental space, whatever this is for you. I really feel like you're really, you're really coming at it from a strongly masculine point of view in terms of. Um, I'm going to master this and I'm going to, and, and, and uh, it's kind of like a leave no survivors energy. Um, I'm not so sure why I'm picking up on this so heavily, so strongly, but I mean, if this is you, you might want to like chill <laughs> a little bit, um, because it's not, it's not even that serious. I mean, a little bit of healthy competition is cute, but but that can go overboard really quickly. And I guess because I'm trying, I'm really trying to feel through this right now to make sure that I'm kind of picking up on it correctly. But and it's okay. So I'm I'm I don't feel like you're really looking for a fight. I'm also not going to say that if a fight showed up on your doorstep, you would turn it away too hastily, but okay, uh, all right, but I, maybe what I'm picking up on is just the serious, because there is a pretty, a, quite a serious nature here. Like, I want to get this right. Like, this isn't playtime for me. But I feel like if you, if you, and, and I, and I appreciate that, I honor that within you, and I'm not telling you, I'm not, please, I, I am not trying to sit here and tell you what to do. But what I'm picking up on with that is you're going to stress yourself out way too much, too quickly. You're going to burn yourself out. So chill. Be cool about it. You know, you don't have to get everything done right away. You don't have to learn all the things at once. You know what I mean? Like, you can give yourself some time to acclimate before you really start diving or pushing or moving too quickly or too too hard too strongly and it's interesting because i did kind of pick up on an energy for a split second of like you reached this new level this new the, the you know whatever this is for you a new life circumstance a new way of thinking a new belief system a new vibration a new energetic vibration you maybe have even come into new a new form of knowledge like you're you're really diving into like spirituality now and, and you're really starting to learn a new, bunch of new things that's really expanding your mind and this is all a good thing but what i'm feeling here also is that you or someone who whomever this is you have it's like you hit the ground running and you haven't stopped and you need a moment to like chill to acclimate to like allow yourself to be in this energetic space to feel through it to 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 to, to let your eyes adjust to the difference in the lighting even if <laughs> you know what i mean if that maybe that's figurative or maybe it's re it's like a, a re real thing but you need yourself you need to give yourself some time to like acclimate 
This is very similar to what we were talking about yesterday, because yesterday we were talking about the fact that, you know, because we were talking about it from the feminine point of view and how, um, you know, you're, you're moving into this new level, but you're still experiencing some of the pain, some of the heartbreak from the past. You're still kind of like looking over your shoulder, at expecting some elements from the old situation to pop up here. And that's not necessarily going to happen. You're in this new energetic space. You're in this new vibration. So things are falling away. But energies, like I said, explained yesterday. And if you haven't checked out yesterday's reading and you're resonating with today's reading, I highly recommend that you do so. Um, it was dated. It's dated for February 4th. But and I don't remember the title. I'm sorry. But um like I was saying yesterday, energy doesn't work just like a light switch. You flip it on, you flip it off, and it's and that's it. It's fluid. It flows. Okay, so you yes, we go through these energetic cycles, all right. But you have to it's you you have to go through that period where the two cycles kind of merge together. It's like a Venn diagram, right? So you have the two circles. Like, like think about it as yesterday I explained it like through the moon phases. Today I'm going to use a Venn diagram. So you have your Venn diagram here. I'm sorry, I don't have. A piece of paper but like just bear with me you have this energetic space or this energetic cycle here and then you have this energetic cycle here and they overlap in the center right you start on this side of the energetic space you move through this energetic bubble you get to the center where the two of them collide and so now you're experiencing a mixture of both of those energetic cycles sure and then you continue on your way here and eventually before you know it you're in just this energetic cycle that's what's happening here Okay, so from the feminine point of view, you have someone that's like looking over their shoulder, kind of like experiencing or being hurt or ex feeling things from the past. From the masculine point of view, you have action moving forward and yet not giving yourself time to process. So it's almost as if it's like you're in this very center of the Venn diagram right now. And am I even, is that the right term? Okay, um, I, I almost want you to consciously sit in this center space right now and just breathe, just be. Allow yourself to learn the lessons or acclimate from completing a life lesson, completing a certain cycle and literally about to step into the next. For some of you, you've already stepped into it and that's a good thing, don't worry about it. You can still take some time, you can still like pull back and be like, whoa, okay, I need to chill for a second or I need to rest or I need to recuperate, I need to meditate, I need to do, I need to recharge. You don't have to end, it's not like, a, this is not, okay, look guys, this really is not a competition and I understand, okay, sure, a little bit of healthy competition is fun for every once in a while, especially those, that are, those of you that are more masculine oriented, I am not trying to take that away from you, but you need to understand that Ultimately, this isn't a competition. You can go at your own pace. You can do your own thing. You don't have to do all of the same things that everyone else is doing. Your life doesn't have to look the same as everyone else. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I admire your gusto here. Especially with this King of Wands energy. I see exactly where it's coming from. All right. And it's a good thing. I don't want you to lose any of that fire or any of that passion, but I do want you to kind of just rest for a second because it feels like you need it, or at least you could use it. It would be, re I mean, maybe like you don't even, you don't really need it, need it, but it sure would be helpful. Maybe in a way that you may not necessarily be aware of until you take the time to rest. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. So let's get into some clarification here. And um, I'm just going to shuffle a few times and I'm going to see what this Ten of Pentacles has to say. I almost want to like define it and be like, okay, let's look at what these lessons are that you're completing or what is it that you're moving forward towards or what is it that you're like move, removing from your life, whatnot, whatever. But I don't even want to do that. I just want to collect the energy and just let it tell us what it wants to tell us. And this is, I'm, I am using the Epic Tarot for this. All right, so this, this 10 of, I'm going to sneeze, excuse me for a second. Thank you. <coughs> Bless me. Thank you. Um, 10 of pentacles. Do you guys remember? Oh God, what show was it? Tiny Toon Adventures. It was that little mouse that would sneeze and it would just like be this big, massive thing. And, and it would say, 
Let's be. <laughs> Adorable. I love that show. You know that show is on Hulu, right? I, I do. Because <laughs> I'm a big kid. Okay. Anyway, getting back to it. Ten of Pentacles. All right. One more shuffle. So what does this Ten of Pentacles represent for? What is this Ten of Pentacles right now? Who are you? <laughs> so what is this Ten of Pentacles here, Spirit? Temperance, okay. The lovers, my, my, my. I'm gonna leave it right there. Ooh, but with the Eight of Swords, what the hell, man? Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. Okay, so the Eight of Swords actually is not a bad thing, but so the Ten of Pentacles is none other than a completion of the balance between masculine and feminine within. We have temperance and we have the lovers. The lovers can, okay, so that can translate into an external relationship, but ultimately the balance, if you're gonna have that balance in an external relationship, and if that's what you're looking for, if that's how this is resonating for you, then you, sh at least at this point, mainly because you've heard me say it over and over and over. <laughs> but that balance is not going to be able to be found in the external until you have that balance on the internal. Now, for those of you that are not watching for this romantic, for not watching for romance reasons, if maybe you're, you're uh, this is resonating as like career or whatnot, um, this definitely could resonate for you as well because you are absolutely approaching whatever this is for you, this new level, this new job, this new career path, whatnot, whatever. You're approaching this from a place of balanced, uh, of balanced union within and harmony, of alchemy, of, of having re-alchemized yourself, having re-identified your, re -identified yourself. You've taken your inner masculine and your inner feminine energies, you've brought them together and now they're working in tandem. That is the 10 of pentacles here. That is the completion of a life lesson or a life circumstance that is coming through here for whomever this reading is for. With the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, this is an energy of being free from some sort of mental entrapment. And that freedom comes from the alchemy and the balancing and the union and the harmony between the temperance and the lovers here. Boop. That is short and sweet, y'all. I like it. Um, all right. It's so interesting because we're talking about this from the masculine point of view today. And there, it's a much shorter video <laughs> than the feminine. But I mean, I, I say that now. I could get much longer because I'm actually going to get some advice from spirit here. But um, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I want to get. I'm going to get some closing advice from spirit here, and then. I'm going to get your oracle guidance and oracle guidance I feel like is coming from the light worker oracle today. Just one more shuffle. A boop. All right. So, spirit's guidance here for the masculine, for the divine masculine counterpart or for the inner masculine here. What is your advice, spirit? Ha <laughs> I knew that was going to come out. Overall energy is justice. And the first thing that I want to say about this justice energy here is you really don't have to do much else to get this justice to come forward. It's already in the works. I'm hearing it's been in the works. But looky here, I knew this card was going to come out. None other than the Four of Swords. All right, so you got to rest, you got to chill, you got to take a break for a second. Allow yourself to do so. Oh, wow. The sun... The Page of Swords, the High Priestess, the Moon, the Fool, the Page of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So check it out, guys. You have the Nine of Cups here, okay? So this is satisfaction. This is wish, wish fulfillment. This is contentment. And this is also another energy that's get, kind of saying to me, look, you can rest, chillax, 
take a chill pill, take a breather, go on a little bit of a mini vacation if you want to, because you deserve it. All right, indulge yourself a little bit, allow yourself to sleep. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. Um, you have the sun with the page of swords and the high priestess, okay? So this feels like a little bit of a contradictory energy here in terms of like the high priestess is secrets and illu not illusion, but like um, secrets and hidden things and whatnot, whatever, and not divulging all of the truth. The sun is illumination. The page of swords is the seeker, right? So this is almost an energy of this is, yeah, this is, I'm kind of getting an energy from this in the sense of it's like, you don't have to search too much. I mean, like the sun is shining, you're in this new air and energy, you're in this inquisitive nature, that's great, but all is not going to be revealed to you all at once. There is, there is, I'm still getting a slightly aggressive energy from this page of swords. It's like, I want all the answers. Give me all the answers. Give me all the information now so that I can be prepared and I can move forward. And the high priestess says, no, honey, it doesn't work that way. What we need you to do is trust your intuition, take the sleep of faith, and just settle in to your new reality. The moon, the fool, the page of pentacles. We're not going to give you all the answers right away. This is on a need to know basis. When you're ready or when you need the information, when it's going to, when it's, in, when it's, when it's the right time, you'll receive the message. But for right now, you need to trust us. You need to trust your intuition and just keep moving in this new energetic cycle that you find yourself in, that you've been working so hard to get to. This is literally the balance between the masculine and the feminine within you, the sun and the moon. That is so cool. Like, congratulations to you, kudos to you. You've done a lot of really good hard work. Um, and so you should really be proud of yourself. And to be quite honest, I really feel like you deserve a break. You deserve a vacation. If you can take a break, a vacation of some sort, like like anything like that, please do it. Even if it's just like a few days off or something, I don't know. Find a way to treat yourself because you have reached this new level. And I'm gonna be honest, some of this aggressive energy coming from the Page of Swords, not gonna lie, it's a little fearful. Which makes sense because you're in a new environment, you're in a new energetic space, you have no idea what's going on. Things are probably a little cloudy or a little dark with the moon. Maybe because your eyes haven't, like I'll use this analogy again, your eyes haven't quite adjusted to like the new lighting. You know what I mean? Like the new space. You can't quite see well enough or as well as you would want to or as well as you had hoped or as well as you did in like the previous energetic space. But... This is exactly why spirit is saying to you, okay, hold on, <laughs> like stop moving so quickly. We don't have to hit the ground running like this. Give your time, give yourself some time to acclimate, please. <laughs> Silly guy. All right, this is cool though. This is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get your Oracle guidance then. Mm. All right. Here we go. So Oracle guidance for you, for y'all. So this could, I, I mean, okay, yeah, we're talking to the inner masculine here. So, and keep in mind, guys, you all know everybody's got masculine and feminine energy, all right, within them. Um, I'm just going to get this one more shuffle, but your Oracle guidance for today, or at least for this reading here. There it is. Right. Der. What do we have? We have. Damn. 
Card number 31, alchemical mutation. I mean, literally, this is what came through with temperance and the lovers in the first part of your, your, your clarification. Alchemical mutation. I mean, shit, man. All right. Your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening you in, I'm sorry, it is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. Please, please excuse me guys, my nose is acting up on me now. The body changes as light enters. Alchemy is catalyzed and transformation happens. Sometimes the appearance of the body changes. There will be change in, the, in how the body feels, responds, acts, and creates. Radiance increases. Lightness of being increases. If you have clairvoyant vision, you will see the increase in light as though the person is actually lit up from within because they are. Spiritual abilities become grounded in the body and the person can channel healing energy just as naturally as they would set the dinner table. The spirit becomes, I'm, spirit, I'm sorry. Yes, the spirit becomes a living reality in the body and the material world is experienced as an extension of the divine light. This alchemy is empowering, is an empowering gift of love. Symptoms of this process can, be, can at times be challenging. They may include headaches and other aches and pains flu-like symptoms and inexplicable and nearly overwhelming fatigue that lasts for days and then suddenly vanishes the uh, uh and then subtly vanishes along with a surge of new energy we may also experience pinging in the ears increased sensitivity to light or sound hormonal imbalance and hot flashes excessive sexual energy mental obsessions or mood swings aggression and unintentionally harsh reactions to people if you have been experiencing any of, the any of the above and wondered if these or other unusual symptoms could be a direct result of increased spiritual energy affecting the body, then the answer is that this is very likely. You are encouraged to source whatever professional help um, health support you need to take care of your body. Also, consider using the following practice, following simple practices to ease away the side effects of divine alchemy taking place in you. These simple practices include getting regular rest. Additional sleep is a powerful way for the body and mind to heal and repair, integrate and reorganize. Allow time for physical exercise, which can help release excess energy, especially if you tend to feel mentally congested. Take some time away from meditation, spiritual studies, or discussions and energy work. Instead, simply be in nature or rest. If you work with colors, then take a break for a short time, only working with very soft, subdued, white, or colorless light. If you have a tendency to push yourself with spiritual work, learning to take time off on regular occasions will help you recover more quickly and suffer less. Finally, working with cooling energy, not cold, but refreshing, as a way to discharge excess heat can be extremely beneficial to body and mind. You can do this by sitting in the shade or in a room that feels cool and relaxing, or even by cooling your hands before an air conditioner or fan and then using your fingertips to transfer cool and healing energy by lightly touching your chest, back of your neck, and back of your head, ears, and forehead. So, I think the moral of the story here is you need to rest. <laughs> but anyway, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, again, we are doing happy hour tonight. So if you want to join us for that, I highly recommend that you do so. Join us on Instagram live. On Instagram, I'll be going live five, around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Happy hour starts here at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The floor is officially open. So if you'd like to get in on happy hour, go ahead and do it. There are only 10 spots available. So go ahead and get your spot now, or at least as soon as possible. And if you're not familiar with me on Instagram, go ahead and check me out at divine underscore conversations. Yeah. With that said, oh, and the, the, the link, is the, the, it's in the description box also. Okay. With that said, I hope you have, guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Y'all, yeah? take care. Mm -hmm.
Bye.